in today's silliness, we take a shower and share some beauty tips. Why not try a little bit of this stuff? It's beard and moustache wax. And Debbie asked the question. You're going to do my feet now. Welcome to the video. As ever, a big thank you to all you likers, watchers and subscribers, new and old, and we're especially grateful to those of you who take time out of your busy days to comment on the things that we get up to on this channel. And if you've got out to say, you've got any questions or even suggestions for things we can get up to on this channel, why not stick them in the comment box wherever YouTube's put it this week? And I'll do my very best to get back to you. And if you enjoy this video, why not give it a thumbs up? Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you click that little bell icon, YouTube will mind you next time we release one. Well, today it's beauty on the boat. <laughs> this time we're taking you on a journey through my beauty regime on Narrowboat Laura. From showers to sh oh, let's not say that, <laughs> <laughs> and everything in between. Yes, to keep this lustrous ginger mane in peak condition, I have a rather extensive but necessary beauty regime to go through. Lucky for you, I'm ready for a shower. So let's jump in there and get clean and fresh. First thing you'll want to know is, how do we get water to our shower? Well, underneath that little um, thing that's got water written on it is our water tank. And we fill her up with gallons and gallons of clean, fresh water straight from the tap at the side of the towpath. And that goes all the way up to the hot water tank, because I can't say the cauliflower thing. And when the engine runs or the immersion's on, it all gets heated up. Oh, I might just empty all this stuff out of here first. There we are. We're all emptied out, ready for a nice hot shower. Oh, that water's cold. I best go and eat it up. And we do that by, oh, I'll have to shift all that back into the shower first. Oh, hang on. There we are. Everything's back in the shower we'll go and start the engine now ah. oh bums i'm gonna have to empty everything out of here now now it takes about an hour and a half to eat up enough hot water so i'm just gonna have to keep myself busy <laughs> That's it, the water's hot. We've switched the engine off. 
Now it's time to put everything back in the engine room, take everything out of the shower and have a shower and get all fresh and clean. Well, Debbie's had a quick shower. Now it's my turn. Time for a shower. Now, after that rather cold and unpleasant shower, it's time for a shave. And I use this. Hold on. Ladies, do your eyebrows make you look like Groucho Marx? Here's what I do. Done. And ladies, if your tash is looking a bit unkempt, why not try a little bit of this stuff? It's beard and moustache wax. Just apply liberally onto the moustache hair, like so. And you can make whatever style you like. There are other ways of showering and keeping clean on a boat. We often go to the gym two, three, maybe four times a week and we can have a shower there. But there are also um, dotted along the canal up and down uh, service points with shower facilities in. Some are OK, some are a bit grotty and some are always busted. Now I know what all of you are thinking. You made that look really easy. You live on a boat. Is it really that easy? Well, maybe not. Oh, what fun we have. Debbie is just plain mean. Stop it! What's that on one leg here? Fucking fell over. You. <laughs> I obviously use the usual extra dry um, shampoo and conditioner um, otherwise my hair would look like shredded wheat if I use normal stuff <laughs> I'm a martyr to me curls um, but I also use something that is well it's been passed down through generations of my family <laughs> It's a special treatment, and today you're going to get to see it. Yes, it's coconut oil. This stuff. <laughs> so there you have it. That's what you do if you've got my hair. As the years roll by, a man's hair begins to migrate around his body. Believe it or not, this was much thicker when I was younger. But as the years roll on, well, it's getting thinner and thinner. We know there, on the other hand, it's a bit more like spider's legs now. <laughs> so this is how I get rid of the nose hair. <laughs>
Let's answer that question that Debbie asked right at the start of this video. You're going to do my feet now. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> you cheeky shit. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm probably in bother over that. That's it. We're nearly done. Just got to let you know what's happening next time. Is a sneaky peek. Oh, where's that then? It's all over for this one. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Oh. <laughs> it's all over for this one. And if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Remember, do that likey button, subscribe, and the bell icony thing if you fancy it. Well, that's everything on my list. I reckon we'll call it a draw for this one. Till next time.